Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to clean a CCD sensor on an astronomical camera. Now as you know there's plenty of cameras out there. There's CCD, there's CMOS, there's DSLR. All of them have sensors on them that get dirty from time to time with dust, uh, debris, condensation spots, things of that nature. Now I'm going to share with you how I clean my camera. You certainly may have your own method and that's perfectly fine. But I thought I would just share uh, with some how I do it with my camera. Now on this image you'll see of the Whirlpool Galaxy, and the Whirlpool Galaxy is about at the noon position, you'll see five or six little round donuts, dark circles. Now that's actually dust projecting from the sensor onto the image, so we want to remove that. So when you first look at the sensor, it may appear that the sensor is clean, but that's because you're not actually looking at the sensor under any, any kind of magnification for debris. So I would suggest getting a jeweler's loop. In this case, I bought these glasses on Amazon. They're 20 times magnification. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. The nice thing about these are is that they have LED lights on them that actually can project light onto the sensor. It makes it much easier to detect any kind of debris that may be on them. I also like them because they flip up uh, one side or the other so I use one side to actually look at the sensor under magnification and then the other side for my peripheral vision to use the uh, to guide the applicator or cotton swab. So back to the sensor you can see this sensor is actually through the loop you look at it and it actually is dirty um, there's specks of dirt on it um, so, uh, so you want to start out by washing your hands first um, I've seen some talk of, of using some sort of sanitizer I would suggest that you do not do that um, a lot of them have the moisturizer in them, and that uh, could be an oil base. So you certainly don't want any oil on your, your uh, sensor at all. So you want to purchase some isopropyl alcohol, and you really want to get 99% pure. Uh, you can find it online. I found mine on Amazon. It was relatively inexpensive in case your local corner drugstore doesn't have it. Um, you also want uh, sterile, I repeat sterile, individually wrapped um, cotton applicators with the long uh, stem on them. Now back to the sensor, I go back and forth, uh, you'll notice on the Malin cams here there's a reason I go back and forth, um, I don't really do anything in a circular motion. On these Malin cams you want to be very careful because of these little tines, these little electrical uh, co uh, connectors, and if you get cotton caught on those, so they're at the top and they're at the bottom, um, you could very easily possibly disconnect one or tear one out which means you'd have to send it back in uh, to have it repaired by Rock Malin, you certainly don't want that. So I start out by wetting my applicator, but I wet it very, very lightly. As a matter of fact, I'll even kind of wring it out and let it dry a little bit. You want it, as, you really don't want anything sopping wet. You want it as dry, but just a little wet. And I'll go side to side and be careful of the you know, the uh, little electrical tines there uh, as you're cleaning it. So you want to definitely be looking through your jeweler's loop at the same time that you're cleaning it. So this is a clean chip. It's all done. Uh, not much to it. After I get done, I also just kind of take a dry applicator and go back and forth just to kind of clean it up. And I also clean up any optics for focal reducers as well. And of course, make sure that you put a cap on it so while you have it sitting in your uh, storage uh, pouch or box that it, it stays um, uh, dust free. That's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon and join my channel. I would appreciate it.